Good evening. The heartbreak of 27 years was laid out in court today as the Wetterling family and others spoke at the sentencing of the man who kidnapped, sexually assaulted, and murdered Jacob Wetterling. Patty Wetterling told Danny Heinrich, you didn't have to kill him. At one point, Heinrich wiped away tears as he addressed the court saying, I am truly sorry for my evil acts. But prosecutor Julie Allen fired back saying Heinrich was not sorry and that he was a cruel narcissist who caused unparalleled anguish. As part of a plea deal, the judge sentenced Danny Heinrich to 20 years in prison on one count of possessing child pornography. The plea deal was reached in September with the okay of the Wetterling family, and then within days, Heinrich led the FBI to Jacob's remains. Esme Murphy was in court today, and I know this is a really emotional day, Esme. Frank, it was just heartbreaking. In addition to Patty and Jerry Wetterling, the two boys, now grown men who were with Jacob that night, spoke. So did his two sisters, and so did Jared Shirel, who Heinrich also confessed to kidnapping and sexually assaulting back in 1989. 27 years of anguish and a lifetime of heartache were laid bare in Minneapolis federal court. He grabbed Jacob and then he told me to run as fast as I could into the woods or else he'd shoot. The two boys who were with Jacob that night, his 10-year-old brother Trevor and then 11-year-old friend Aaron Larson spoke. Larson said he had been haunted with guilt, saying tearfully, I was the monster, I was the coward that left my best friend. Trevor Wetterling said he blamed himself because he was the one who had suggested the boys bike to a convenience store that night to rent a movie. He described years of sleeping on the floor in his parents' bedroom and said, I will not feel safe if he is ever free. Jacob's younger sister, Carmen, sobbed, I love you, Jacob. This is not your fault, and you didn't do anything wrong. Jacob's older sister, Amy, spoke of her anguish of hearing the details of the last moments of Jacob's life. In September, Danny Heinrich described how he kidnapped Jacob, sexually assaulted him, and then shot him when he thought police were nearby. Heinrich said then that Jacob had asked him, what did I do wrong? Danny Heinrich appeared to wipe away tears as Amy said, for nearly 27 years he let us believe we might see Jacob again. Jerry Wetterling began by thanking Heinrich for finally saying where Jacob was. Heinrich looked away and appeared to cry. Jerry Wetterling spoke of how the abduction had even hurt his marriage, that he and Patty were in such pain they could not be there for each other. Jerry Wetterling said, I miss Jacob so very much. I miss all the things I didn't get to experience. Patty Wetterling, through tears, said, My heart hurts for Jacob. You didn't have to kill him. He did nothing wrong. He just wanted to go home. Danny Heinrich also spoke, offering a brief but emotional apology. He said, to Mr. and Mrs. Wetterling, the heinous acts of selfishness are unforgivable. For what I've taken away from you, I am truly sorry. Also in court, five men who prosecutors say Heinrich assaulted in Painesville in the 1980s. Some of them cried. Heinrich also apologized to Jared Shirel, who was 12 when Heinrich abducted and sexually assaulted him in January of 1989. Shirel spoke briefly in court, but walked out just before Heinrich made his statement. He spoke afterward. Uh, we can all learn from the lessons that uh, we heard today uh, from the Wetterling family and, and the um, excellent words that they've shared with all of us as well. Um, very grateful to have um, had their support along the way as well. In a statement released after court, the Wetterlings thanked Jared Shirel and blogger Joy Baker, whose efforts helped solve the case. And as sad as this hearing was, there were also words of hope this morning. Patty Wetterling turned to her son's murderer and said, quote, Jacob's hope lives in all of us. You can never take that. A little bit of optimism, as hard as that is. Um, and in theory, I mean, he could get out, right, Esme? Technically, yes, he could, Frank. Uh, he, he is only 53, so at the end of the 20-year sentence, he could get out when he's about 70. He was also sentenced, though, to a lifetime of supervised release, and prosecutors have promised to civilly commit him if he does get out. And this plea deal for the 20 years may have been controversial for some people in the general public, but it's important to remember it had the full support of the Wetterling family because without it, they believe they never would have found Jacob. And where will he do his prison time? We don't know right now. He did not ask for a specific prison. The Bureau of Prisons makes that decision. All right. Esme, thanks. If you would like more on the Wetterling case, you can head to WCCO.com. There you'll actually find the complete archive of stories from the time of Jacob's disappearance up to today's sentencing.